right, here we go. We got some Crosser on the screen. What, pray tell, is Crosser? Crosser is a flow software. Just, I'm not saying just like Node Red, because it's not like Node Red. Um, it's a little bit different than Node Red, but the, uh, the same idea. Um, as far as you have an input and you have an output, and you're still doing flows. So we got flows, we got nodes. Uh, this is in a cloud environment. You can make a node locally to connect to your PLC or your edge device. For now, I just wanted you guys to see how, how hard or easy it is to, uh, to connect and, and build something. So I had gone in here and got my data generator, which if I go up like this, I've got a data generator, I pull it over, and then I have an aggregate. And so I pulled those two out and connected them. That's similar to Node Run. What is cool is the environment. I can uh, use my mouse to increase, decrease. It's this little screen right here. Um, data generator is, uh, it's not gonna let me drill down into it because I am currently in the sandbox. And as you can see, I'm connected to the sandbox. So it lets me test. So we'll, we'll, we'll just test it here. So if I clear this out, and I'll turn that guy off, see the little bug. I can turn on that one. So instead of having to debug for each of them, you can just click on this little icon, which is, I think is nice. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna start this guy up. Uh, we could probably get away with that right now. So it's saving the flow. This is what my data generator is putting out, and it's going to do 10 of them every second. And I'm going to cut that off and turn the aggregate on. Clear that. And as you can see, it's doing the average of the data.temp. And just so that we understand that, uh, it went to 51.3. It's giving us a timestamp. I'm going to stop this. This is super cool because this is a crosser function that tells you if the node has successfully implemented or not. So it's easier to troubleshoot in, in my mind. Um, so just to give you an idea, I've stopped the uh, testing we can drill down and check out let's see if i can make this smaller we can check out the uh, data generator setup in this case one sample interval or sample interval is one second it's running on start and it does 10 samples. So the aggregate is doing the average of those 10 samples. And I chose to do data.temp. Um, we could do data.pressure. And as you can see, this J J JSON was stuck in there as an example. Um, and it's putting in random numbers for each value and generating data so that I can practice building nodes. Isn't that cool? So on this side, if we look at the aggregate, we are pulling from data.temp, which is being generated, and we're in a time mode. You have options there, timer count, so you can get specific. Um, every 10 seconds, it's going to take a value and output, uh, output 
what an average. So it made up this aggregate based on the target property that I set. So it's my first flow in Crosser, which I think is pretty cool. So we'll go again, just because you guys missed it the first time. Da, da, da. We'll clear this out. Wait 10 seconds. Da -da. Da, da, da. Anyway, I know you're totally excited about it. Um, all right, so since we all get that, let's take a look at some of the input modules. We'll clear this because I got to hand it to you. The guys that made Crosser have a sense of humor. I haven't figured out how to use it yet, but maybe I will. Uh, this Chuck Norris Git joke. I'm not sure what it means, not sure what it's about, but um, we'll figure that one out. Um, Couchbase, I'm not sure what that is. Can Raw Reader, all right, so that's Linux. And Can Messages, I don't know if that's like a Can Network. If so, we'll find out. Firebird. There was someone asking me about the Firebird database. Um, Crosser already has it set up to get inputs and outputs to Firebird. Google Sheet Reads, HubSpot. This is a cool one. HTTP. And look here. We've got Kubernetes, MariaDB, Dynamics, because we all love Dynamics, uh, Mongo, Modbus. This has got to be cool. Let's take a look. Under the hood. IP address. Port. Port is already set up for us. Hmm. Data. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. We got MQTT. We got Mongo. MySQL. OPC. Look at all these guys are all ready to go. It's pretty cool. Um. Rock raw data table receiver. What is in here? I wonder. Click under the advanced buffer size 2048. All right, might be interesting. Here's the S7, which we all know we're gonna use some PLCs and uh, Salesforce. So Part of what Crosser does is automatically sets up to get data from anywhere. They don't care if it's your PLC, um, if it's your MES, if it's your ARP, um, if it's your refrigerator. They, they, they are set up strictly to get data, bring it across, and set it to wherever you want it to go. Um, SN, SNMP, here we got some Snowflake. WebSocket. Let's look at some outputs. Is there a data lake? Woohoo! Not that I can have a data lake, but okay. Anyway, as you can see, there's lots of options going on here. Um, this is the trial version, so there may be other things that I don't see at the moment. Um, Slack. All kinds of stuff. The um, Send desk ticket. Wow. Imagine if you can get a equipment status and automatically send the ticket from the PLC across the database to your maintenance phone, which I know some of those fancy databases out there can do that anyway, but um, you know, maybe you want it to be more specific. I, I don't know. Analytics. All right, so this is the stuff that we do in the middle. I, obviously, this is the same thing as, as uh, Node-RED as far as that we have an input, we have an output. We're still doing input and output, and there's all these things that you can do in the middle. So that's what they're calling the analytics. Um, uh, so here's a cool thing, and they've got the join like in Node-RED. So, so your basic functions are going to be there. Uh, looks like they've added quite a bit. 
Python bridge should be interesting. And then not so this is all iron python what i was looking for is they have a module where you can just stick your python code in so literally it's just a code block it's almost like the structured text block in plc where you can just drag it in put your python in and uh, and go about your business so um yeah this, this may be the custom software one but I haven't got to that part yet so just exploring uh, the package and checking some things out so the uh, so far it looks pretty good and seems pretty exciting I gotta go figure out what iron Python is because I haven't been using that um, look our good old timer date generator Ta -da! We don't have to go manipulate anything. We could just tell it. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to ramble on if I don't get off of here. But for everybody that was looking forward to it, here is the first flow I've done in Crosser. And Crosser is a professional version um, or maintained version of Node-RED, not that they're not maintaining Node-RED. I don't know how to say it properly so they don't hurt people's feelings. Um, this is a paid for version that has a little bit more functionality than Node-RED on a reproducible level for, for going to the field. Um, what do I mean by that? It sets up credentials and you can also add a credential so that before you deploy this, for instance, my flows right now are in a, uh, a draft. It's not deployed, but I can deploy it with my credential and it saves every version that I've had. And it, it, so it, it's, it's doing things that are more software engineering friendly to track your uh, changes and to make sure that things get documented properly, which you don't always get with Node-RED. Um, I haven't had it crash on me yet, so that's a good thing. Um, anyway, we'll find out more about that and I can talk more intelligently to it later. Um, I'm just throwing it out there that so far it's a very professional type environment. Um, and seems to have the uh, the data behind it and the interfaces and the, the tools that you would need to create whatever kind of connection that you want um, as, as well as some security measures. So the um, something to keep in mind as you explore further about low code or no code applications.